Hello everyone, my name is Tarun Dhamar Sekar. I'm a professional lecturer, I'm a CEO of a leading social media agency, and I'm also a corporate trainer and a consultant. Now, when I was approached uh, by uh, these uh, organizers of this program, I think it's a very important one, especially this is the time as a nation, we need to come together, put our minds together, and going beyond COVID-19 is a journey that the entire nation should go together, not just something to be done by one or two individuals, or this is not a time for companies to go our separate ways. Yes, we all have individual businesses, but what we really need to understand and look at here, my friends, is how do we move forward together as a nation? Now, especially looking at a crisis, what I must say is that a lot of people tend to think that a crisis is, is actually a bad thing. While I do agree, but there is also a lot of money to be made in a crisis. Lots of new products that were not needed earlier are now being required. Lots of new services that were not needed earlier are now being required. So as a business, are you ready to make use of these opportunities? Now, just to give you an example, world famous car manufacturers Overnight, you know, within a few days, they started making ventilators for hospitals. We are also seeing that uh, there are some companies like cosmetic businesses, which are now making uh, sanitizers. So there are opportunities to be made. The question is, are you ready to really make use of these business opportunities? Now, let me give you, if you were a business organization and if you're looking at planning your uh, business uh, beyond COVID-19, look at the positives. Look at just one question. I want you all to ask just one question and that is what is the opportunity? What are the opportunities that are out there that you can make use of? My friends, if you have an answer for that question, if you have figured out the answer, then definitely you will be having lots of uh, money to be made and big business opportunities will come your way. We as a company, we realize that lots of people need websites because they are now trying to come to uh, or bring their businesses online. So we normally we did websites, but not very actively. Now we started the separate unit and we started saying, okay, within three days, we can get your business up and running and we will connect it with a, a payment gateway provider as well. Uh, if you were, if there are companies that were into children's products, which had now started to uh, make masks. There are companies, my friends, which were actually into um, children's products and selling from a stop, from, from one small shop. So it was like a one-stop pickup place. They immediately added, now I'm talking about Sri Lanka. They immediately added new uh, product ranges to them and they added the uh, multiple delivery services where they can quickly deliver to the customers. I mean, just to give you an example. Now, even during this curfew time, there are some people who have managed to speak to the police and they have actually managed to get permission to go around and deliver cigarettes uh, to the people, right? And they are, they are legally doing it. Right? They've got the permission. Cigarette is not an illegal product in Sri Lanka. I don't advocate smoking. I'm not a smoker. But the truth is that there are people who manage to do that. So while so many companies are complaining that, look, uh, um, we can't do this, we can't sell this, that there are people who manage to do it. So the opportunity is always there. But how hard are you willing to work to get it, to grab it? That, my friends, is the real question. And Another opportunity that I lot see and for a lot of businesses is what we call the fulfilling of the suppressed demand. Now, alcohol is something that is completely banned during this time. But we saw some companies in Sri Lanka that sell alcohol, putting out social media messages saying, hey, you know what? 
why don't you place the order with us now so that no sooner shops and all open up we will come and deliver it to you that's a huge opportunity they are they are trying to tap into the suppressed demand that is there because for somebody who is not having alcohol and who is really stuck without it the fact that they can order and have their alcohol ready when shops open up to have it quickly delivered to them that itself is a huge thing for them all right so there is a lot of opportunities that you can really make use of but you need to act smart you need to look at this not from a business viewpoint i mean as a business if you keep looking at the numbers and if you are thinking well you know what i your profit this much down revenue this much down sales this much down then you are all the time you are going down 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 instead if you could ask yourself okay maybe our traditional products are no longer being bought but what can we do instead what is our other option right there is a very famous fashion brand called zara right the owner is the third richest man in the world amantio ortega my friends he built this company during a recession he realized that people will want fast affordable fashion fashion will never go out of fashion but it had to be fast it had to be affordable so i'm asking you once again have you identified the the mindset of the customer that is going to be there outside this covid 19 for example my friends there will be a lots of demand for cleaning products there will be a lot of demand for sanitization products like hand sanitizers and all that also this customer will be very um, reluctant to spend on anything non essential that's the truth but having said that it is during the 2008 financial recession in uh, us and which led to a worldwide financial recession it is during this time my friends that hyundai became the number one selling car in america how did they do that well very interesting all they did was that they gave a package called hyundai assurance where they said look buy the car if you lose the job within one year we will come and buy that car from you back and you will have your full money back so any crisis is always will it will lead to a drop of confidence in the minds of the people as a business what can you offer so that people will have more faith in buying your product the fact that my friends the fact that you were your the hyundai was willing to um buy back the car if they lose the job showed that the company put itself into the recession along with the people i mean you can't have the mindset i oh, look you know what we have the product great product high price but it's a great product go figure out your money come and buy we'll be waiting no 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 that's not going to work what have you done to ease the burden for the customer my friends right you need to ask this question your regular customers how are they affected by this what is going to be their mindset on the other side of this crisis if you understand that mindset you will also understand lots of different business opportunities that are there right the post covid 19 customer doesn't want the same things that the pre covid 19 customer wanted no he wants basic products he wants clean products sanitization products there will be a lot more spending for sanitization uh, around the world here after even at a corporate level or maybe at a uh, let's say uh, at a individual level i right? think like hand sanitizers people never even used i mean i've never used hand sanitizers much earlier but now for the foreseeable future whenever i travel yes i believe i will have a um, hand sanitizer with me so have you understood this trend have you understood this fact and have you factored it in have you fitted it in to your corporate planning and organizational planning that my friends is the question all right so to summarize there there is going to be lots of business opportunities on the other side of the crisis a crisis means a difficult time for business not a time where you can't do business at all try to understand what that customer wants try to understand what exactly will that customer need 
What are they waiting to buy? What are they planning to stop buying for a while? And you need to make sure your portfolio, your business portfolio has enough things to uh, cater to this customer who is looking to buy certain things. If you don't have it, get it integrated. Um, there are some companies, for example, we saw apparel companies like Mass Holdings, you know, when their order books uh, went down and for lots of months they are not having any orders, they immediately shifted to making protective clothing and you know, surgical clothing and that kind of products. So you could do the same, my friends. You could definitely do the same. Change your products so that you're having some products which people will want even after the recession or even during the recession, after the crisis. Understand the mindset and the psychology of the buyers. Uh, even when you're marketing something, show how your product will help them to relieve the pain they are going through and not the pleasure. For example, if your products are let's say high in quality but less in price, put a little bit more focus towards the less in price because price is going to be a huge pain for customers in the next few months to come because they can't afford things, right? Um, and most importantly, make sure that you give confidence to the customer to buy from you, right? If you could give certain assurances, okay, look, you know what, buy it. If you lose your job, we will support you in this way. Uh, buy this particular product and uh, if you're having a tough time, this is how we can help you with the financing. If you could do that and there'll be a lot of opportunities for cross-business collaboration. Like I see into the future, uh, let's say the furniture company and all that already tying up with the banks where when you go to buy the furniture, rather than telling the customer, look, if you don't have the money, go and sort it out with the bank and come back. Or when you go to buy a car without telling the customer, look, go and sort it with the bank and come back. Instead, the furniture company or the car company might say, hey, you know what, we've already tied up with the bank, so if you're a little short on the money, don't worry, we've got you sorted. Just a matter of filling this form and we get the loan passed for you. So a lot of collaborations will exist between finance companies, businesses to serve this customer that is going to go through a lot of emotional pain due to not having all the means to spend like they had earlier, right? So understand the customer on the other side of the uh, COVID-19, understand the customer mindset in a recession, do things to relieve their pain, collaborate and give more benefits to the customers. And most importantly, remember, a crisis is not a time where there is no business. It's just that it's tough to do business. And when the going gets tough, the tough gets going. Are you tough enough to do that is going to be the key deciding factor. Be tough, be mentally strong, have the right attitude that yes, I'm going to pull through. Remember how top businesses in the world were started, created, lasted through recessions. It's all because their owners persevered and they kept going. All right. And stay focused. Let's take this nation forward together and away from this crisis. I wish you good luck and all the best.